Hey y'all, I'm Perry from Cornbread Creek Farms. Uh, everybody's been asking me for an update on the greenhouse and the hay bale garden. I wanted to come in here in the greenhouse and show you what's going on. Let me warn you, it's not as good as I hoped it would be, but it's my fault, all my fault. Uh, I took a little vacation, went a week. I went for a week to uh, the Gulf Shores. Um, and I wasn't being a good steward. My water dried up in my greenhouse and my hay bales got dry because they wasn't getting any water. We're in a drought. Uh, it's been getting up about 115 degrees in the greenhouse. But let me show you what's going on. All right, you see my, my squash. See how the leaves is turning dead and uh, it, it's still putting out blooms. Uh, we still got squash coming out. I already got squash off of it. Now I've already been cultivating and getting stuff, but you can see what happened. A lot of the squashes, I mean, they I wasn't able to, uh, to pollinate them, so they didn't, uh, they didn't get pollinated. Here's some uh, zucchini. I've got some fresh ones waiting to come in, but you can see how tall it's got. Uh, big day tomato. Got some, got some tomatoes over here. Well, they're coming in. Here's a, here's eggplant. I haven't got any eggplants yet. You see how big that thing's got. Uh, here's one surprise if y'all. Watch my thing. I'll make a pineapple jam when we just put this pineapple in here. Look at it's growing. Um, here's my Roma tomato. You can see my tomatoes coming in. Uh, I've already been getting some of the Super Sweet 100 tomatoes over here. There's you can see there's they're starting to come in here too. Um, the uh, Brussels sprouts is getting a little bit too big I don't have any ropes to hold them over they're kind of falling over here but but the Brussels sprouts are starting to starting to pop up there they're starting to come in bell peppers yeah, we're starting to get our bell peppers here I've, I've already uh, got some off here you see we've been cutting okra and yeah, that thing's way up there we already uh, took up all the lettuce there's still some over here. Gosh, thing. I mean, I'm just letting it get too big. I mean, you see how huge that that thing got to be. I'm fixing some plant uh, some butterhead lettuce in here. But this is the greenhouse. Uh, it's still surviving. Um, it, but it, it it put a hurt on it whenever the water dried up. This thing uses had to refill the water in it about every three four days just because it gets so hot in there come on let's go out here to the hay bale garden um i've got a had some things happen out here too like i said got dry uh the temperature's been running above 95 every day for almost a month now haven't had a rain in a month or hopefully we're supposed to have some rain today i don't know if we will or not but here's the hay bale garden um Man, look, there's deer out here. That's what I'm gonna say it is. They're just eating the far out of my plants. I, I'm gonna have to do something. Uh, we still got tomatoes coming up. Um, I mean, you can look, there ain't no leaves on that thing nowhere. They just, they're just eating all the leaves off of it. But we still got some tomatoes. Look at them right there. All right. Spaghetti squash, they uh, it's dead. Um, I don't know if the deer damaged it or what, but they they both uh, they was broke off at the at the base. I got some potatoes planted here. See deer eating, eating them too. I had a huge huge squash plant right here, um, and it just it is broke. Uh, here's another one. Got some squash starting to form on it. Uh, cucumber. Doing amazing. Doing wonderful. You can see my cucumber. It's, oh, that's an odd shape one, ain't it? Um, but, yeah, there's cucumbers just popping up everywhere. 
here. Jalapenos, we've already already got a lot of them off of here. But you see them. There's some more uh, cucumbers going around here. We've got, now you'll notice this, uh, these okra, uh, these actually need cut, but they're not near as big as the ones that's in my greenhouse, but they're doing good. Goodness gracious, look at the ants on that. I'm going to have to treat this. There's ants all over that. Um, bell peppers. God, dude's been here eating that too. Or something. Oh, man. Yeah, I've got some bugs in here. They're eating that. But I want you to look here at the watermelon. Goodness gracious. Look at that little thing. They coming. All right, here's some more squash. Let's see if we got any on here. We've been, this is straight neck squash. Now, I ain't got none in here right now. Uh, we, we're keeping it picked pretty regularly. Um, but I want you to look here at this watermelon right here. Look at that. Boy, I can't wait. Oh, yeah. I almost want to pick it already. But that's the hay bale garden. Oh, guess they carry over here to the uh, potato, the no dig potato plants. Let's run and do that real quick, and then uh, I'll be done. I don't want to take up much of your time today. Just kind of want to give you an update. Um, all this stuff's my fault. Could have been prevented. Could have put up some fence and keep the deer out. Uh, I don't really know what I could have done to. I mean, I guess I could turn the water on. I have some kind of valve in there where I could leave the water on and keep it topped off. Um, I just hadn't done it. Look, I'm not going to walk over in the fence, but I'll just show you the potatoes. Look at there. Man alive. They're coming up everywhere. Now, this is all inside a fence, so deer ain't getting it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the update. Uh, we're going to have to do a better job next year, but it's still got a long ways to go. We're still going to get a lot of vegetables out of here. Uh, but at this stage, next year, I don't need to be where I am right now. I need to do some things to help help improve this. And But the main thing is, I want you to see my mistakes where you don't make them. Okay? All right. Uh, I love you. God loves you. Say hey, you mom and them for me. <laughs>